Jessica here. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. In the last episode, we had pretty much got our death cube up and running. Uh, the battery is still charging in it, um, but we got all the Gatling turrets up and running. Now, currently they are offline, and that is because, as you can see, there are holes here. I have gone through and pretty much hollowed out some passageways inside here for conveyors. Uh, let's see here. So you can see here, these are the Gatling turrets. And I do have some conveyors hooked up to them. I, I need uh, parts to finish them off. And they will all interconnect to one another through these passageways that I've carved out. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode, guys. We're going to be uh, pretty much welding up conveyor tubes. So I need a whole bunch of construction components, small steel tubes, motors, and bulletproof glass. Let's go ahead and grab all of those goodies. Now, I know that removing some of the heavy armor is definitely going to make the, the death cube a little bit weaker, but it's gonna allow us to, you know, really lay the hurt on a little bit harder because it's not gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> Okay, where's all of our construction components? Aha, there they are. Let's let's put down the steel plate. Well, most of it anyways. We don't really need that much of it. And let's grab as much construction components as we can. Well, maybe not that many, because we need motors too. And small steel tubes, we need, we need to find some of those. Where is our small steel tubes at? Let's see, small steel tubes, anywhere, anywhere, girders, small steel tubes, okay. Alright, let's see what we can get done with this. So yeah, like I said, it's going to be a little bit weaker, obviously, because it's not going to be completely solid, heavy armor, but uh, it's not going to run out of ammo, because <laughs> we're going to put... Oh, I forgot the bulletproof glass. We'll have to go get the bulletproof glass, too. But yeah, it's, it's not going to run out of ammo, because we're going to put cargo containers in here, and we're going to have a way of accessing those from the outside and things. So this should be pretty powerful once we actually get it up and running. Alright, let's keep putting in what we have here. That way, when we go back to the, to the cargo container, we can actually, you know, grab our fill. So I'm getting a little confused in here. These passageways are very, very uh, confusing when you're trying to go through them. Oh, and I run out of motors too. Alright, we'll have to get motors as well. Apparently I've already done those. Okay, which ones have I not done? Apparently I haven't, I haven't gone up this way yet. Okay. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is really going to take it to the next level. And uh, let me just go ahead and make some adjustments here. You know, those, these settings are really super low, but they certainly sound a lot louder in the recording afterwards when I'm going through and editing. Okay. Let's see. I think we need to go this way. Oh, and there, there's one of our one of our batteries. But yeah, I think we need to go this way, and... Uh, where, where are they? Where, where are the... Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I'm getting lost. Lost inside the death cube. Okay, and we've run out of steel plate, too. Really? One steel plate? You know what? <laughs> there we go. That's fine. Okay. Um... Well, let's see what we can do over here. Oh, run out of steel plate again. Alright, let's go back to our cargo containers and resupply. Alright, and we're going to be looking for, what is it? Uh, well, we want some, we definitely want some steel plate, and we want some 
We have car... We might need some more small steel tube. We need motors. Let's see, where's the small steel tube at? All the way down at the bottom. Okay, we'll grab some more of that. We'll grab the motors that are in the medium cargo container. And let me think if there's something else I need to get. Oh, there probably is. Uh, oh, bulletproof glass. That's correct. Okay. So we should have enough of that stuff. Hopefully that gets us a, l a little bit further. Yeah, I think that should probably get us pretty far. At least I hope. Okay, that one's done, that one's done. Yeah, okay. Let's see here, what do we need for this one? We have everything for that one too. I'm basically just getting those done first, because then we're going to put a big conveyor there, and then we won't be able to access those anymore, so... Kind of have to do this in this particular order, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, and what I should be doing is actually putting in the conveyor block as soon as those are finished, so I know what... So basically we know which ones we've done. And I should probably just put the small cargo container in. Maybe. No, I think we'll put the cargo container more towards the middle. I think this one here will actually be a conveyor. Let's see, where is our conveyors? There they are. Okay, we'll just go ahead with... Oh, I don't have interior plate. Okay, well, we'll have to go get some interior plate. That was definitely something I did not know that we needed. And there's the station. Alright, let's just have a little seat in our in our chair just to recharge our suit. It wasn't very low, but it was gonna get there. Might as well just charge that up. Oh, the death cube isn't so scary when the Gatling turrets aren't aren't functioning. <laughs> oh well. Won't be too much longer, and then it'll be even scarier than it was before. Okay, and there's some interior plates. We'll go ahead and grab as much of those as we can carry. We are running low on motors. We're going to need more motors for sure. Hmm, let's see here. Let's grab as many as we can carry. And I don't really need this uranium on me either, so I'll exchange that for more motors. Excellent! Alright, let's go back into the the death cube of death. The two, the the, the, the hallways of, of death inside the death cube. Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think I finished all of these. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put, put our conveyor in so that we know that we don't need to come back here. All right, and let's check this one over here. These are finished. All right, let's put in a conveyor. And let's go over this way. How are we doing over here? Nope, these were not finished, but they will be now. All right, now we can put in a conveyor. Oops, that's not the right block. There we go, conveyor. And let's check these. No, we didn't finish these either. Cool. Alright, now we need to go... Let's see, which way do we need to go? We need to go this way, right? Hang on a second, how do I... Oh, there's, there's, there's the way! <laughs> Couldn't find the passage. Here it is. Alright, let's check these. I think these are done. Yes, they are. And a conveyor and check these as well and let's see can yep can time for a conveyor all right and then we just have this one last hallway and these still needed a couple parts and conveyor this is the last little group of them Okay. And a conveyor. Cool. Now we can start welding the conveyors. 
And I think what we'll do is we'll put the cargo containers in this middle hallway here. Alright, looks like we're going to have just enough to be able to finish this one, possibly a second one. No, we're one motor short. Okay. I'll just go ahead and put the rest of everything we have into these so we can grab as much stuff as possible. And let's go through here and do the same thing in the in these halls. Yeah, we need a whole bunch of stuff. Each one of these conveyor blocks requires a, a hundred construction components. Alright, we're completely out of stuff at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and gather some more. So, uh, we might still need that bulletproof glass. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to grab a little bit more steel plate as well. We're also going to grab these construction components. We need all of them. Probably even more than that, to be honest. We need the interior plate. We need small steel tubes. We probably need large steel tubes as well, although I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's, let's verify that before we go grabbing those things, because they're actually quite heavy. No, we do not need large steel tubes, so I'm going to go ahead and put those back. Those are way too heavy. And let's go ahead and grab a uh, small steel tube. Small steel tube. Okay. Let's grab a whole bunch of that. And we need motors as well. And that's not very many motors. But we are holding a whole bunch of construction components, so we're just going to have to keep coming back and forth. And unfortunately, the Roy G. Biv can't help us in this situation, because we're just trying to... We're trying to do this, you know, like, inside of this thing, and obviously the Roy G. Biv can't fit into these tiny little hallways, so... That's a little unfortunate. Okay, we need more interior plate, but that's fine. Let's just go around and put everything we have into these things and we'll come back for uh, and finish them off later. Okay, and let's go up here and do the same thing. Yes, interior plate is definitely what we're short on here. Oops, I'm not ready to go up the hallway yet. Or, or outside of the death cube, rather. What I meant to say. Alright, I think when we... Yes, okay, so all we need on this trip is interior plate. That should be pretty easy. Inter oh, and there I go, spelling interior wrong. Alright, and let's go ahead and pump those in. Cool. I am really, really excited to get this thing fully operational and, you know, online and actually give it a proper test. I think what we'll do is we'll use one of our drones as uh, a little bit of bait, you know? We'll just, we'll change the ownership of it and we'll, we'll fly it in at high speed and see what happens when, when this death cube actually attacks it. That should be pretty cool. I don't know if we'll get around to that this episode, though, obviously, we still have quite a bit to do. But that is what I want to do in the future. Okay, and these are finished. And let's go up through this hallway. And look, should be a couple more that we have to do. Okay. And I think there's two more. Oh, those are done. Okay, so I think that's all the conveyor blocks that we need. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is we're going to put in conveyor tube because it's cheaper on the resources. Uh, we still need motors, though. Okay, well, we'll have to come back for the motors.
let's just go ahead and get these things plugged in everywhere that they need to go. Alright, and let's see, like, the one the one that connects these two together will be, you know, a con another one of those big conveyor blocks, because then it'll also connect up here. I'm just making a little mental note of things that we have to do. Okay, and we've run out of steel plate. That always sucks. And I cannot put down the conveyor too because we're run out of steel plate. Alright, let's go get some more. Steel plate and motors, I think, is what we need to focus on right now. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Or well yeah, we need construction components too. Okay. We need a whole bunch of stuff. Let's get some steel plate. Let's get some construction components. Let's get some motors. Ah, uh, let's see. We're, we're gonna need more interior plate. And hopefully that should last us. I don't think I'm forgetting anything important. Okay, and let's fly on over here and we need to install them over here as well. Okay, let's just make sure real quick that I've got all of those in. All right, where's my where's my passageway that lets me go to the other floor? I didn't fill that in, did I? Wait a minute. Oh no, I think we're good. I think we I think we've got them all in now. Oh, we never finished that one. Okay. Well, good thing we were standing there. We didn't finish those either. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I'm just clearing my throat a little bit. Okay, well, I think we're ready to start connecting some of these things up. So here's how we need to do this. We need to like start at one end and work our way, um, just work our way down. So how do we want to do it? I suppose what we could do is start here. Okay, let's let's put one here, just to get this thing started. Okay, and let's weld it. All right. And basically what we were going to do is in this section here, this is how many? One, two, three. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put uh, a conveyor tube and then we're going to weld that oh, and we're short construction components. Darn. Okay, well let's go ahead and resupply ourselves on construction components. And also uh, charge our suit a little bit, because again, we're starting to run low on energy. But hopefully you're starting to see how this is all going to connect. Hopefully it's starting to make a little bit of sense. Alright, and our suit is charged. Let's go ahead and grab those construction components. Let's see, what else might we need? Well, let's just do the construction components for now. Because those are going to... We're definitely going to need quite a bit. So let's let's get about 400, 500 maybe to start with. Let's see. We need probably need some more steel plate. And some more motors. Okay, let's, let's see what we can get done with that. Hopefully we can get somewhere with it. Alright. Let's go ahead and weld that up. 
Yay! Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a storage container. This is where the ammo is going to be housed. Yeah, I think that's probably a good place for it. Or I could put it in a little bit deeper. I mean, I could, like, cut that area out there. But I think it's fine there. I think that should do just fine. We need computers and displays for this. Okay. Well, before I do that, I want to go this way over here and do the same exact thing. Uh, but here's the thing, though. We need to put some tubes here. And then a storage container. And again, we need displays and computers to finish that. Okay, let's let's go ahead and get our computers and displays. We don't need too many of them, just a couple. So let's see here, computers. Oops, it is spelling that wrong. Okay, we'll grab we'll grab a couple computers, and then we need some displays. We'll grab like ten of those. I think should be fine for now. What else do we need? We need more interior plate. And that'll probably do us for now, at least. At least I hope. <laughs> oh, oh, ran into the wall. Oh, goodness me. Okay, well, at least we didn't kill ourselves, right? We didn't really hit the wall that hard, but... Okay, let's go ahead and install this one as well. Okay, and then we need a tube here. And we'll weld that. And then this one here is going to be a, you guessed it, conveyor block. Okay. And then of course, we need a tube. Followed by a storage container. There's going to be about... I don't know. I, I don't really know how many we're going to have in here. But we're just putting them basically in the middle. And another tube. And weld that. Okay. And then of course we'll have a conveyor block there. And a... We also need a tube here, so let me just go ahead and get that installed. Okay, let's go ahead and get our conveyor block. And we're short construction components, of course we are. Alright, well... This is... I mean, it's starting to come along, there's no question about it definitely starting to come along we really only have a few more that we have to put in but that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode guys if you guys like the video do me a huge favor and hit the like button it helps me out so much subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave me any comments or suggestions in the comment section below but be aware, I am out of town right now I will not be back until Sunday so if you're leaving me comments or suggestions uh, I can't really do anything about that for, for a few days. These videos have been all scheduled to release during the week that I'm gone. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.